What's up guys, it is Jordan and today's video we're kind of looking for a work car but I'm just looking at a few cars right now some beautiful ones goodness you guys are probably like show me show me I got you you know these aren't actually bad cars how much is this one so for? not for me though but this is like a brand new car. Damn. I'd rather go with this one. It's not an SRT, but she sure is beefy. It's nice. That is definitely nice. That is definitely nice. What do we got here? The Ford. You know, just simple stuff. Uh, not that much stuff, but it's okay. Just showing you guys. This is all a part of my video. Just want to make it a... Just wait for this airplane, I guess. So, I'm going to keep it short and simple. You guys are going to be seeing uh, different views in this video. Sorry if the quality is not on 10. That is because it's cloudy, the sun's shining in a certain direction. $48,000 for 2022. Goodness. But yeah, this is going to be a long video, and what I want to put out for right now is just um, stay tuned. I hope you guys' day is going good, and let's continue. There we go. Everything is going good. There we go. Ah, let's get it home, my brother. What's up, bro? What's up? Hold on, let me turn it up. You can't hear nothing. All right, brother. You gonna be uh, ready for these answers, bro? I just gotta deal with the lay down workout. So. Actually, let me turn it up just a little bit more because I cannot hear you. Shoot, bro. You ready for these questions, bro? Yeah, man. Ask me any question you want, bro. All right, it's recording right now, so this is gonna be a YouTube video. I want to keep it simple, though. Like just simple questions, simple answer. Uh. This is, we got 11 people in my line, bro. That's crazy. If I just hit a thousand of the fam, so congrats. Thank y'all. Um, bro, the first question is, is uh, to anybody watching this TikTok or to anybody watching the YouTube, what would you tell somebody to become a better them? Like to better themselves, what would you tell them to do? That man is frozen. <laughs> Did you freeze, bro? I think he froze. That's fine. We will wait for this man to. All right, he left alive. All right, so I'll uh, I'll answer that question until he comes back. Um, pretty much, in order to better yourself to get your confidence up, you really have to take care of yourself. Uh, let me tell you guys something. Just a little story for the nine people in here. Uh, what's up, the real king? What's up, Naya? Um, bro, let me tell you guys a story. Quick story. So, I don't even... I gotta invite him back because he froze. I don't, know. I don't know what happened, bro. You froze, bro. You More froze. like my thing is locked out. No, what was your question again? My question to you is what would you tell somebody to uh, build up their confidence or to be a better them? Well, I mean, to be a better 
be a better person for you, like for yourself. I mean, first off, you can't go with what people tell you. So, let's say I got someone down talking me on the side of me, like, "Oh, you ain't shit. You, you ain't that. You, you're not gonna be something. This and that." Well, who knows what the future has in store for anybody, right? So, I say, just you know, go, just go what you know best. Just keep doing what you gotta do. No one can down talk you if you know how far you can go. Nobody, nobody knows how far you can go. Only you know. If that makes any sense. I feel like I'm not sense. Yeah, nah, that makes sense, bro. You know, uh, somebody came in my life and said, "Gay." You know what, bro? Look, clowns make about forty thousand dollars a year. Clowns make about forty thousand dollars a year, yet you do it for free. Congratulations, bozo. That's a free L for you. Um, back to what I was saying. I'm going to keep that on the YouTube, too. So, um, my next question to you is, what would you, what advice would you give to one of your friends if you knew that they were depending on somebody to make them happy and, you know, they control, the other person pretty much controlled them? Like, what would you say to that person? Like, to do better or just constructive criticism what would you say why well, do you know someone can run your life like that what's it called everybody everybody lives their life everybody has to live their life nobody can run somebody else's life like let's say like only let's say for me right yeah. let's say i'm telling let's say i told you hey maybe you should do maybe maybe you should go do that right you're mm -hmm. not gonna go do it what, what, what I, what, what, let's say if I give out an advice, this is when I give out advice to people, right? Yeah. I, I give them, I give them an option so they can put into their plan. I don't tell them to go do that. Sometimes the way how I explain things, it gets people to the fact that like, you know, maybe you tell me I should go do it. No, in reality, I'm not telling you you should go do it. If you want to go do it, go ahead, go be my guest. But in reality, I tell people to... I, I try to give out like options for people like, hey, maybe you should add that into your plan, you know, or if you want to, you don't have to, but you know, because that's what people, you know, I, in, in a way, people got to help out everybody else. Yeah. But for somebody to run your life, my, my, what I would tell people is straight up, it's like, look, see, look, when I was, when I was like, like, when I was born, I was given, like, my family gave me a lot of freedom, right? Mm. You know, since, since, since I started doing everything on my own, right? Yeah. Because it was like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's like, uh, no, my bad. And so they gave me a lot of freedom. You know, they said that, you know, you got you to gotta learn to experience things and see how far you, like, you know, you're going to have more support, but you got you to gotta go through life and see how things are so they give me a little bit more free free lives you know they're like you know what you got this i know you i know you do good in life bro i'm gonna honestly yeah. add on to that like i personally feel like bro your relationship is not gonna go right most of the time if okay this this don't make sense to me right because people be saying like you know that they love you and stuff like that like i love you or you love me or whatever and one of the main things is that how can you love somebody knowing that you're letting somebody feel like you make them happy and you're not telling them, to, like telling that person you should make yourself happy before you try to be with me or, you know, let's focus on making yourself happy. Like, it's not all about one person making the other person happy, bro. If you're in a relationship, bro, it should be I love myself. They love themselves. We're going to build each other up from there. Let's not start with, I love myself. They don't love their selves, but I know that they don't love their selves and I'm gonna just continue to that cycle. I feel like that's really what's destructive in relationships is that people become depressed and that's a, it's okay to be depressed before you get into a relationship, but I feel like when it comes to self-care, self-love, that should be something that you give yourself before you expect anybody else to give that to you. Well, yeah, what's it called? Most of, you know, you know, you know how I feel like about relationships right now. I feel like people get into relationships, and you know, they get into relationships, and you know, they they wanna, they always wanna make the 
for, for sure, you know, you want to make one of your main priorities the person that you're with. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I've been, I've, been seeing a post, I've been seeing a post lately, you know, and this thing, I'm like looking at it, like, you know, that's 100%, you know. Look, for me, it, it, and that's, that's kind of how I live on it. And, you know, this is probably why I don't have a girlfriend or anything right now, right? It said, like, I want you, I don't want your first priority to be me. I want your first priority to be your goals and ambitions and dreams. Go get that. Let me be your second let me be your second option because you got to care about yourself more than you care about me. Because yeah. at the end of that, we can break up and we won't be shit no more. Yeah, it's I, just it's like... It's a hard thing to say. It's a tough act to, uh, to follow, you know? You know, but it's like, it's, it's, it's reality. You might never know what can happen, bro. But I can go through seven... I can go through seven another girlfriends before I find my fucking wife, you know? Yeah, exactly. See, I was uh, making this yeah, video... Listen. I was making this video, right, because I wanted to dig deep about, like, some deep stuff. Uh, I'll be having Genesis in, hopefully, before Friday, because Friday's supposed to be, like, you know, the big video for everybody in here. They just got that free lucky pass and heard about it. So, like, one of the deep questions that I want to ask you is, um, all right, after I left, right, you, uh, a lot of people have been messaging me saying like bro I, I like as soon as you left like you started focusing on yourself you started getting bulky and all that other stuff like you really changed your life around what would you say to somebody who didn't have that opportunity like i did like you know a fresh start right across the country what would you say to somebody that has no choice but to stay in that state in that city what would you tell them to better themselves like do you feel like, let me see, it's a hard subject to get across. How would you tell somebody to, not you would tell somebody, or so, it's hard, bro. I, I can't find the right oh, answers. Would, I, I, know, I get what you're trying to say right now. You're basically saying like, oh, you know, let's say this, right? Right? Oh, Michael. Let, let, let's say, how, how does somebody go about if they're stuck, if they're stuck in the same city that they grew up in, how what would you, you know, what would you tell them? Like, like their comfort zone, yeah, and do what they have to do, right? Yeah. So, and it's kind of what I'm going through right now, right? Yeah. You know, I got, I got, <laughs> I got about like a 30, 30 million things piling up every single day. But you always knew how I am, bro. For some reason, my my stacks always stack up so super high. Get rid of them next thing up another 30 more i'm like a i'm like a i'm like an office worker for the type of stuff that i have to deal with on a daily basis you know but yeah. i mean that's just life it is and, and um, you know like uh, i won't even lie to you no well uh, actually, hold on, let me answer your question for us and say you know um in, in, in reality that's you know in reality you gotta learn to to adapt you know you gotta learn to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable you know wise words from from Josue you know that 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 honestly when he told when he said that I, was, I took that one into consideration because learning to be uncomfortable like learn to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable that's basically what you're doing right now what's it called who would have like five five months ago I mean you weren't telling me that you're gonna make a weight gain channel no you know so you, you, you did something that you knew it was going to take a long road, but you're making it into, you're making it into a masterpiece. So on to this next question. Um, this one, I'm going to be asking Genesis as well. Um, so, okay, we have part A and part B, right? Part B, I was in Sacramento, right? You know how it was, like June 1st, I was like, give me a month and all that stuff. Compared to me out here. What's the difference between Sacramento me and North Carolina me, like Charlotte? Like, what's the difference that, that the you have noticed? The only difference is uh, the only difference is, is that you're not telling me, you know, face to face. You know, and we have to do it through the phone. You know, every, every single day. I mean, you know, I try. We try to call. We, you know, we, we call each other. You know, the, the update about what's going on and all that. Yeah. But I see, I see you have more, you have less distraction. That's what, you have less distractions than when you did when you were out here. 
Uh, in Sacramento, for some reason, you know, you can get super distracted into the real life world out here. Do you see like a better yeah. difference from me yeah, two months? More. Me two months ago. No, me three months ago. Me three months ago compared to today, after I had gotten hurt. What's the difference? Yeah, you're more. You have more. I, I I see that you have more. You have really good, really great ambitions right now. You want to make your you want to make your life perfect. You want to make your life good. So you're 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 doing a lot. You're doing a lot for yourself. You know. And you know, that's not 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 for anybody who think of like in a in like in a selfish way. But you know, you're for how much you try to give out to people when you're out here in Sacramento for people to take advantage of you out here. You know, you start to like you know what? I'm out here. I'm in North Carolina. I have no one to worry about but my family out here. You know, I'm gonna go make. I'm gonna go do what I have to go do. And I'm gonna give out good content for the people that you know that truly that truly want me to win. So what I see from you, you know, what I see from you now, it's like you're you're going to go get it. Even though you were like that in Sacramento, there's a lot more distraction out here in Sacramento for you that I think that was out here before you start to book. Because having to go through a breakup isn't easy. Let's be honest about that. And now if you you went through a lot after that breakup, I and, did, bro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just. I'm gonna say a little bit, and then you tell me if what I'm saying is false or if it's right. And uh, just be real about it, you know, whatever I know you are. So uh, I feel like I changed, like I became more, I got my confidence up first and foremost. My ambition is like grade eight. Like, you know, a lot of people will talk about, you know, give me all this time before I become, you know, something big yet they don't try to pursue that. And that's because of the distractions that they have in their life. So I feel like, I'm not saying everybody, I'm just saying, you know, those certain people. I feel like I really like made a change. Like I said, I was, like, you know, I'm on like the grind every day. I'm not slacking at all. I work out every day, about four to five hours a day. I work and I feel like so much has changed between the old me compared to the new me because if you were to ask the old me did you want to be here or did you want to be alive i would have told you no but today if you tell me do i want to be here i'm gonna tell you hell yeah i do i have a purpose i feel like everybody has a purpose i feel like you can't just go around walking around with your head down thinking that you don't have a purpose when in reality you really do there's certain levels to distractions and depressions and I understand how depression can be, which is understandable. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to not try because like I tell everybody, bro, like almost every day, I'd rather try and fail than sit there and fail not doing nothing. I can't sit around, bro, on my ass knowing that time is an essence and time is everything. I can't sit on my ass just doing nothing. I have to make sure that every day is more productive than yesterday. And I got to make sure that every other, like, you know, the next days that come is going to be the best that it could be. I'm going to give it my all. And if it doesn't go according to plan, then we retry the next day. It's just, I feel like, and this isn't no cocky stuff. This is confident, like confidence. I'm speaking in confidence. I'm not speaking cocky. There's a difference between those two. I feel like what I was doing here, I'm doing a lot more than I did here than in Sacramento. So now, now, California is home of the opportunities. You have opportunities in California. You really do. But there's opportunities everywhere. There's opportunities everywhere, but you got to adapt to certain situations. If you can't they only, adapt... They only call, they only call California the... the uh, the state of opportunities because uh, Hollywood, bro, Los Angeles. Honestly, look. Yeah, look. Uh, especially here in Sacramento, bro. I see. I'm nothing against. I, I have nothing against the, the you know homeless people or nothing. But you see a lot of you see a lot of homeless people outdoors, right? Yeah. Young people too, you know. 
Mm-hmm. And you think about it, you know, like, like you know, I guarantee one, one of the like, so one, one time in your life you were actually very hardworking, had very good ambitions. Yeah. Like, what, what, what happened? You know, you ask the question, what happened? Like, what, like, why are you, why are you living like that? I would say it's but, because some people don't have opportunities like other people, and honestly, bro, it's like you know they there's ways for them to get out of those situations, but not everybody has the mentality and mindset like I do or like you do or like anybody else does. You know, everybody's mentality and motivation is different. But what I've seen from a lot of homeless people is what I learned is to make a make the best out of a bad situation. They be on the streets, right? But how, when I when I was driving around in downtown, bro, I, I seen a whole bunch of people at a table outside, you know, underneath the bridge, enjoying their best life. So it's like, you know, you got to make the best out of a bad situation, but you also have to make your life as ambitious as possible. Like, you only get one opportunity in this lifetime. I feel like if you screw that up, you'll live a life full of regrets. You see... There's some people that are like 40 or 50 and they're wish, and they're like, I wish that I had took that opportunity back in the day. I wish that I had done this. And Nisa, stop being, I wish I had done this and turn it into, I actually accomplished this. I chased what I wanted and I accomplished it. And if I did it and I failed, I learned from what I failed in and I made that into something completely better. What's up guys, it is Jordan, and we're gonna resume off with the rest of this video. So I wanted to go over a few things with people. Some people have asked me certain questions and I thought I would um, go in depth in this video. Um, It's actually, I would say it's pretty important that you guys, if you guys are here, that you guys hear me out. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Some people ask me, um, why did you start, you know, working out again? And I'm going to be honest with you because it helps me build up my confidence. For one, it helps me build up my confidence. I'm sorry if the quality is not A1. But, um, yeah, I do it to build up my confidence and I do it to make my immune system stronger. So, you know, with working out, I also change my dieting and you know, what I'm able to consume and what I'm not able to consume. And in certain ways it has worked in some ways it hasn't. Um, We started off with the simple, you know, let's, let's buy something like a scale. Let's buy a weight scale. Let's see if we can actually make a difference. So about two weeks ago, I had bought a weight scale and, um, I weighed about 112, 113, well, 111 first. Um, so now I'm about 123. And uh, just what I've been changing, what I've been eating. And let me guys, sh- let me show you guys a few things I've been really consuming. I brought these up for props. So I have the muscle milk, Quest bars. Um, simple protein meals, drinks, and all that other stuff just to keep my body up because, you know, if you don't know, I do have valley fever. If you don't know what that is, it is a fungal infection. You can get it from the spores in the dirt or the dust that goes out in the air. You can get it from valley areas, which I had got from Sacramento, California, but I got it in a different way than what most people projected it to actually be. I got it from um, working and uh, in a warehouse. And I realized that after, you know, I've been doing it like like every day, like, you know, that's one thing I also don't like about working. But in order to survive, we have to work or we chase our careers and we do things that's going to benefit us in the long run, which I'm doing that for the long run and the short run. So right now I am working, but I'm not working at that junky warehouse anymore thank god uh second the job i have now is easy not saying what i do just know that 
hey, you owe this much money to the bank. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get that done, out the way. Okay, so, besides that of the point, in a way, it's been helping my health. You know, switching things up, seeing what my body really likes and what's gonna help it become stronger. Um, so I was talking to my doctor about a few things and she said it was hard for people who are like heavy set. Not, I wouldn't say heavy set, but have some weight onto them because I'm considered underweight. So people who are average weight or overweight, it's hard for them to get it pretty much. So what I'm trying to do is build up my immune system because my body's fighting the infection while I'm trying to make my body stronger. So whatever I'm feeding my body, it's gonna help it get stronger. And hopefully some things change um, right now. Nothing serious, just I got the lumps on my stomach as always. I ain't gonna show it and I ain't gonna do all that, but the part that I feel like really matters is how does it build up my confidence and in a way, it's more than just lifting weights. It's more than just building my body up for my own confidence. It's it's like when I work out, it's helping me with my mental. Keeping my mind straight and focused on something that's not negative. So that's one of the positive impacts. One of the other positive impacts is um, discipline. So... I learned to discipline myself from eating certain things so I don't, you know, have too much sweets or, you know, stuff like that. So I feel like the discipline is really helping me out because it can also help with different situations. Um, you know, TikTok, we're still strong on it. I got a weight gain page, made it about three weeks ago, hit a 1K of the family, uh... My other TikTok, my main page, we're at 223,000 of the family. Um, special shout out to uh, everybody who's supporting me. Uh, thank you to everybody who really wants to see me win because nowadays you, you're not going to get that out here. You're not going to get that really anywhere unless people really support your choices and all of that other stuff where people are busy. People have a life as well. So... You can't blame somebody for doing their own thing, trying to make sure that they straight. So, you know, one of the main things about growth, like, because there's actually been like a, you know, a big difference in a month ago. I had took a photo from a month ago and I had posted a photo today. Let's actually see if my tablet is, um, is it on? Yes, it is. So I will not be able to show it. I will show it in the next video because this is only part one. Um, <laughs> um, I really do believe that, you know, moving from uh, Sacramento to California. I really feel like moving from Sacramento to Charlotte really did make a big impact on my life. Like there is things there that I felt like. I just didn't want to go through out there, just utterly BS, let's just say that. And this happened today, so yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it broke off. Another thing that like, I'm gonna put out there is, um, I'm not calling anybody out. I don't do that. But I've really noticed like a difference between when I'm actually in Sacramento with some of my friends compared to me being all the way out here, not being able to help pe those people motivate themselves. And some people have actually lost like interest in what they really did love most. And I know that's not my problem. That's not my business. That's 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 none of my business. But. I had a few talks with some people today, you know, and they were really understanding, like, you know, like, yeah, you know, since you left, you know, you've really, you know, you made an impact on me. And when you were here, I was really motivated. And I want to let those people know that don't let somebody be the reason why you're motivated to do anything. Um, 
you got to want it. You got to want it. You got to achieve it. And then results. That's what I like to say. You find your purpose. You achieve your purpose. And then you sit back and watch results. Because nothing is handed to you. I cannot hand success to you. I cannot, you know, nobody can do that for nobody. You know, people can help each other grow, you know, help people and support them. That's why I do not ask nobody to shout out any of my videos anymore because the people that originally see my videos, they're the ones who actually enjoy my content without me having to be like, yo, can you post this for me or whatever. The people who really do support you are going to be the ones that support you at the end of the day. It doesn't matter because you know what? If you can't come up with 20 minutes out of your time, when you have 24 hours out of your day, then I feel like it is just yapping at this point. Yeah, bro, I support you. You don't hear nothing from them or none of that. So I got out of that uh, by leaving Sacramento because I'm going to just be real. That city, it's not for me. The weather is not for me. And just simple as that. You know, I'll visit, but it ain't going to be frequent. Like, this is my hometown now. Like, this is something that I really do mess with more than Sacramento. Um, I just moved here, so I don't really know how everything else is going to go. But as far as I'm concerned, me staying in myself, me focusing on my goals, nothing is getting in my way. Nothing is, per, you know, getting involved. But I want to, I have a message for some people out there who's been going through some stuff. Genuinely, because I hear you and I see you and you're not alone. Because when you see people going to the gym, it is about, I would try to just at least try to sum it up to 75% of those people have something going on or they're just trying to build up their confidence. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, that's why people love working out. That's why people love going to the gym, doing what they got to do, because it's an escape from reality. We plug our earphones in, we don't hear nothing else. We play our music, we grind, we work, and you got to do what you got to do. Because in this world, like I said, some things are handed to you, but that is a rare occasion. Success is not handed to you. It is earned. So if you really want to become successful, if you really feel like you're in a down, bad spot right now, you got to continue to keep moving because it's only temporary, that feeling a failure or not being good enough, that's temporary and you matter. You shouldn't have to have anybody else's validation to tell you, yo, you matter because you already do. But that's going to be the end of this part one of this video. Um, I just want to put it out there that uh, we are growing strongly. Even on YouTube, we got 1,440 of the fam. And I really do want to reach 2k by the end of the year 2.5k 3k you know let's say let's say 3k just 3k let's 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 double it 3k by the you know by the end of the year i believe that we can do it um and if we don't do it guess what we're gonna do we're gonna try harder next year you know you're gonna have to fail in order to win you have to know how to do something before you do it so you're gonna take an l before you take a win so Without that being said and done, get ready for the next video.